The most common criticism against you abroad is that you are out of touch, that you don't know what's going on in East Pakistan. What is your comment on that? Huh. Well, if a head of a state is out of touch with uh, any part of his country, I don't think he has any damn right to remain a head of state. I'm a soldier, basically, and uh, you know I'm not a politician. I don't want to stick to this job. The moment I find I'm out of touch, out of touch with my people, I shall quit. I'm not out of touch with people. I know East Pakistan like the palm of my hand. I've served there in, in many capacities. I know East Pakistan more than the East Pakistanis know themselves because they haven't got the facilities to move around like I have. So, answer to your question is that I'm not out of touch. I know exactly what is happening. And what's more, I have uh, I've visited East Pakistan. I'll continue visiting East Pakistan. When you say out of touch, I happen to be a head of a state consisting of 120 million people. But I don't claim that I, I have gone and talked to every one of those 120 million people. But uh, the personal contact with individuals is not the only means of the head of state knowing what's happening in this country. There's no doubt in your mind that all that's going on there you know about. Absolutely. I um, saw on my own TV two nights ago a lot of blood flowing in the streets of Ireland. I saw the armed forces going for these civilians and I saw the civilians going for the armed forces. It made me wonder whether I was uh, watching a scene in Pakistan or somewhere else. I was assured that it was in Ireland. So what do you people talk about? Army genocide and army repression. The basic fact is that no government worth its name will allow lawlessness. No government worth its name will allow uh, this kind of uh, brutal activities against their own people.